Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on December 9th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Giving you a look at space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and of course a world weather forecast. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun. Very quiet. Only one fiery region that isn't even a sunspot. And as well, a coronal hole, which is not visible here. But other than that, like we have a very quiet sun right now, looking at the last 48 hours incoming. No cresting bright regions, nor large plasma filaments going through a lull, I would say. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. And as well, I want to welcome all of the new members to the channel. Thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button and as well hitting the notification bell so you don't miss an update. Having a look at multi-spectrum here. Just going to be keeping an eye on the coronal hole in the southern region. Not too much to talk about. Again, very quiet sun today. Southern region coronal hole seems to be diminishing in the last few images. And this very low sun activity is showing on the real-time solar wind. We're actually missing some data a little bit today. Average uh, solar wind speeds are about 327 kilometers per second. Saw them bump up to about 360 today. Solar X-ray flux slightly elevated in B-class range just recently, but very quiet as well. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Looking at LASCO 2 and 3, showing the sun... And as well, all of the stars and our solar system behind it. Not much to talk about. On the left-hand side, you do see a small CME shoot away from the sun. And that is visible here with the ISPA Space Prediction Spiral. Sending out the southern region on the left-hand side there. Very faint CME. Schumann Resonance for today, a power of 35. Seems to be the same since the 7th. Not much being reported today, nor yesterday. Power of 35, quality of 11.5, power 18. Let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours. Still watching this Oregon earthquake event go on. Most recently here, 5.4 at a 10 kilometer depth reported off the coast of Oregon. The earthquakes were getting a little bit smaller, but now they've gotten bigger. So it carries on. 4.6 here to report in La Libertad, Mexico, as well. Carpinteria, California, reporting a 3.5. That's off the coast of Los Angeles, as well. 3.1 there. White City, New Mexico, 2.7. Stanley, Idaho. Other than that, most of the activity is off the coast to the United States. Hawaii, seeing minor activity today, 2.7, the highest. Alaska, seeing minor rumbles as well. But they're going to start to see the increase in seismicity. 4.3 there, Rat Islands as well. Izu Islands, Japan region, 4.6s. And as well, Nazi Japan reporting 17 kilometer depth, 6.0 earthquake. No tsunami was reported. As well, Pagan region, a northern Mariana Islands, 229 kilometer depth. There is a volcano there. And as well, in between Izu Islands and the Marianas Trench. 4.9 here, Philippines, and as well, 4.5 here just south. Hukay, Philippines, 147 kilometer depths south of Tala Volcano. Indonesia still rocking this week as well in the regions of Semeru and Merapi volcanoes. Papua New Guinea seeing a 5.7 today, as well, 4.6, 4.7. Quiet through the Kermadex, only one Earthquake to report here in New Zealand, 4.1. Looking off the East Pacific rise late last night, a 5.1 was reported. And as well, a 4.8 here today in Capitia, Colombia. And as well, Santa Rosa, Peru, 118 kilometer depth, 4.3. Still pretty quiet for South America. Pretty large earthquake here to report in the Valley, Anguilla, 4.2. And as well, a rare earthquake here in Rudna, 
Poland, a 4.0 earthquake was reported. Let's have a look at the last seven days, and we are definitely seeing tons of activity off the coast of North America through the Blanca Fault fracture line, Juan de Fuca. Please check out the video most recently. I did show the ocean floor there. There are quite a few seamounts. Looking around the world the last seven days, pretty active to say the least across the world. Mostly uh, Antarctic plate moving South America to North America. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on this because there are more to come, I do believe, through the Cascades. Heads up, stay safe and have a plan. That's what this channel is all about, being aware and prepared so that we can make plans and possibly divert disaster. Avert disaster. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Era in Japan. Fuego, Guatemala, Reventador in Ecuador, a couple avalanches to report in Europe, Western Europe, and as well Southwestern Europe, Nevadas to Chile, as well La Palma in Spain, Sangue in Ecuador, Sabincaya in Peru, Nevadas de Ruiz, Ruiz in Colombia, Many flood alerts across this, 86 ha or 83 hazards across this map right now. And finally, the last couple of volcanoes to update here, Popo, Semeru, and of course, Suez and Ajima. Looking at the satellite imagery, most recent, we do have winter storms, Newfoundland, and Labrador, Canada, and as well, the northern Rockies and plains of the United States. And as well, through uh, Colorado, looking at some heavy snowfall. There were tsunami watches that went out here just recently, an hour ago. But no tsunami is imminent through the active region, the coast of Oregon. Across the Pacific. Winter storm there in Alaska. And many flood alerts across Indonesia. One tropical cyclone here to report Terete, who is going to be heading south and most likely diminishing, but flood alerts, uh, flash floods, storm alerts all across Indonesia, Java, Sumatra. Let's have a look at the five day forecast brought to you by Media Earth and daily events worldwide, starting out here, home base, Ontario, Canada, where we have an interesting system heading in that is going to bring some warm temperatures ahead of it. We also have a Colorado low that is developing in the United States and a nor'easter that will be coming to Ontario and heading up into Quebec, the Atlantic provinces, bringing mostly rain to the Atlantic provinces and snow to Quebec as that system will race towards Iceland just after a pretty sizable system heads over there. Lots of coastal rains, snow, in higher elevations through Sierra Nevadas, California, and as well Oregon and Washington. Watching the long range Tuesday, watch for this low pressure system to come right into Vancouver. We'll see where it goes in tomorrow's forecast. Long range forecast going to see a lot of snow in the north ahead of a pretty cold high pressure ridge. Overlooking the Atlantic, not much to talk about except for long atmospheric line of moisture stretching through the Atlantic. Two of them, actually, throughout the week with these two very big systems heading to Iceland. As well, a low-pressure system heading into the Mediterranean. Italy, over the next couple days, is going to slowly scoot eastward. Other than that, high-pressure ridge building in behind it. And rain coming into parts of the United Kingdom in the long range here. Overlooking Russia, Southeast Asia. Those extreme cold temperatures are definitely going to be building in this week and as well heading pretty far southward here through Russia. Minus 46 without the wind chill in central Russia. That's pretty far south for these cold temperatures to be coming down. 
Stay aware and prepared, everybody, and stay warm in Russia. Watch as these cold temperatures will swing around the northern hemisphere. Pretty big systems heading into Kamchatka, eastern Russia, and as well Alaska. Overlooking Indonesia and Malaysia, Philippines. Philippines, you do have a tropical system heading towards you in the long range here. Tuesday, it looks about two days away from your coastline. Daily evaporation rains pretty heavy at times across the equator. Australia, not much to talk about. Pretty dry and boring week ahead of you for rain. But do have a tropical cyclone here heading towards New Caledonia. By Monday, Tuesday, you will have a cyclone on your doorstep through New Caledonia. Line of moisture stretching down to New Zealand. Overlooking the Pacific, Central Pacific, no major weather systems heading towards Hawaii. After that, Kona Low brought quite a system and as well hazardous conditions. Central America, no major systems. South America, you do have a low pressure system building here over Argentina in the long range. We'll see that get quickly organized and head towards Brazil. Other than that, no major weather systems to talk about. Overlooking Africa, pretty dry for the next few days as well. Daily evaporation rains could be heavy here through parts of South Africa, coastal regions, Cape Town. Other than that, no major weather systems heading to you. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern, pointing out the major lows that are spinning around our planet right now. Much love to you all, and thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you will consider pressing that like button, subscribing, sharing with your family. Stay aware and prepared, my friends. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.